Okay, okay. now like, you can say what you wanted to say. I would like to point my uh, f finger at the robot in an accusatory fashion and say, Moo, 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 moo. It just goes, Bzzz. The hands move a little bit. But the door is already unlocked. And you know that because there's a little uh, sign on the door that says, Unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> Is it an electronic sign? No, it's like one of those little, uh, like when you go into an airplane and you turn the doorknob to say it's uh, vacant, it just changes from unlocked to locked. So right now it shows unlocked above the keyhole. What the fuck? Is this kind of tech? Should we proceed? Stop right there, villain! Stop Please. right there, criminal scum. The machine just goes. Bzz. Waiting for it's waiting for its own input. You're to trespassing lock, school property. Or your stolen a, goods are now forfeit. Is this another robot like the one we fought before? Or no? Yes, it is. No. I shrug. I shrug and say moo. Here, let me. Uh, I need to do an images for. Let's do this. Yeah, Make an it easy. Campaigns, Edge of the Empire, <clears throat> Images, was a player screen. Player screen blink. Okay, so what we're looking at. So here's the ground. Here is the door. And this robot is literally like this. Yeah, like he has fantastic drawings. I this see. It belongs in an art museum. <laughs> yeah. I get that draw with the mouse, man. Is those the Mickey Mouse hands? <laughs> you pretty I much. <laughs> I could put this on my wall. <laughs> it's like it's a, it's like a chair roll to this. <laughs> but that's the general idea we should look at right now. It's true. Oh, amazing. villain. Yeah, it's got controls on the back right here. It has levers to control the arms. Uh, can is, I... he, is he just standing there open? No, the door just says unlocked. The robot is in the ready position to start to pick lock. And you see on the side, it's the Roboto Lockatron 2000. I, I wanna, I wanna dash just, just as he before he closes the door, dash into the room. Can I roll it or? Sorry, I was reading this. I was uh, doing some notes. All right, what do you say? Well, blah, blah. What are you trying to do there, Demo? I wanted to dash into the room before he locks the door. Why is he locking the door? Well, he had, he's about to lockpick it. I'm assuming no. He did that to open it, you genius. The door is unlocked, as I mentioned. The robot is just standing in standby. Uh, I thought you said he's gonna be lockpicking it to close it. Why? It's controlled by a person on the back using levers. Don't ask why, uh, her skids demo. There's a I big just... sign beeping that says, awaiting input. Quickly, we must strike before it acts. It's already acting. I'm not oh. waiting for anything. That's like on draw... Moonlight Edge. Oh, alright. Uh, I got to here. Give me a second. Gotta pause the stream again. No, I'm not gonna pause. I'm just gonna go FK for a minute. God damn it. I will draw a quick diagram to, uh, you know, tap into the game while he's away. Do quick yeah. rolls. Quick rolls. Quick rolls. No thinking. Go. This is a uh, action chest. No strats. Go, Mike. Unironically, Yala, come on. I'm okay. I'm currently drawing a diagram of Demo's uh, participation in the game. Kick Mike, kick Mike, two, three, four. <laughs> Don't kick me, dude. Stop okay. this. Oh, man. Sick. Sick. Z. Defeated. Blocked. Aha! But you missed all my vital organs. Let me show you a real attack. 
Can I get to my house? Can I uh, vote kick? Uh... Can you know what? Time to dash. Dash. Oh yeah. Dash. Oh yeah, boy. The big move. You dash to do that. Well, I wanted to run away from her, and also, you know, I had about one in a six chance to get to where I wanted to go. So. It's level two. This is very uneventful. Oh yeah. Yes. Can you legitimately not even vote kick people in this game? You can just hold people hostage. <gasps> it's the first time. All right, so these are options. I'm, I'm back. I'll still stream it, so I didn't say anything goofy. So, what the fuck is this? It's whack a mole, dude. All right, killing them all. Back to the game. Quit your goofy game. Whatever you're playing. All right. All right. So, I believe. We got the machine in front of the doors, awaiting input to activate the electric robot. But the He's door awaiting. is unlocked. We must strike now. He's awaiting input to attack us. Foul villain, take this. As an unsheathed moonlight edge and strike. At the robot? Yes. Okay. It's an automatic hit because you're just hitting a stationary piece of equipment. <laughs> And it promptly gets cut in half. Aha! Foul villain defeated. No match for it. I, I think it was... Not a hostile, but... I, whatever. And once again, the arms start moving! Awaiting input! Oh, it... He well, still yeah. lives! Maybe we should... Input an input? Oh, you you cut the two halves of the robot to four halves, and now it stops moving. Aha! Villain has been defeated. No match for Whoosh! Dead eye. <laughs> is there anything? Is there anything else in the room besides the robot? Um, you're literally in a stairwell. Well, hmm. uh, I guess. But Barry can... still can't speak. Some foul no, plays no. at work here. Maybe, uh, what, what haven't we checked here? We checked... We, have, we can go through the door, maybe? Yeah, but... Do you think it's gonna be it's gonna be this easy for the solution to be behind this door? Hmm, yes. Let's overthink the situation. Yes, clearly not. There has, to, there has to be some roundabout way of thinking of doing this. Barry, what do you think? Um... Moo Moo? I uh -huh, Yes, I see. Let's go beyond the door. Yes. Barry, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you a diagram of demos way of thinking in uh, RPGs, uh, and I will attempt to kick down. Yeah, the, first I'm gonna press on the handle to see if it's open. Yeah, it's unlocked. Yeah, I just <laughs> opened the door. Okay, <laughs> the door opens and you are greeted by the interior of the basement. You see the dark tunnels that stretch in all directions away from the door. You see the pipes in the ceiling that are reverberating with the liquids and air gases that flow through them to the rest of the high school. The water pipes, the burbling and gurgling of other machinery around you. Your clear target possibly might be enemies in this place that place the Robotatron as well as the ventilation system that pumped in the mysterious pink gas. I see no foul play here. Looks pretty normal to me. Anyway. Now uh, where is the villain hiding? Maybe he's hiding in plain sight, but we cannot see him. I swing my fist at the air. And you hit air. Aha! We defeated air. Looks like Barry has found something. Maybe his animal Ooh. instinct. Maybe his animal instincts led him to a lead. Isn't that right, Barry? 
Move. See, I... I shrug. I uh -huh. This man speaks the truth. I was, uh, sit down on the floor and, uh, dig out a pack of potato chips out of my bag and start eating. That's the barrier I know. He's coming yeah. back to census. Uh, yeah, I think he's trying- he's regaining some of his human features. Which means the villain must be no, no. My mind! Hello? Jason, what's happening? Mm -hmm. We must find the villain quickly. What, what's, what's happening to you? Uh, I, I, I put a, I put my hand on the, on Mike's shoulder, and I say, "Moo." Yes. This is no time for weakness. We must go find the villain. For I did not swore to protect the school with my life. Oh, did you? I, I, I didn't know. That was it. Was this important to you? Maybe I should try harder then. Suddenly, down the hallway, you hear a squeak, 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 squeak. squeak. Whoosh. Villain, reveal yourself. I feel it's like clearly it's a around the corner. Is this clearly a janitor that's acting like a, like a mouse <laughs> idiot? Is, is it is it around the corner? I teleport to the opening and strike a pose. Reveal yourself, villain. Yep, there's a mouse. Right there. Oh, it's a mouse. I thought it was a human that. Oh, it's a, it's a human acting like a mouse. It's a janitor acting like a mouse. Should I phrase that a little better? Is he wielding a ruler? He is not. He's this wielding is not... a electric tape. Not electric tape. Um, that's what I'm looking for. This is Roll not a true tape. janitor. Roll tape. We need to, we need to find the uh, ventilation entrance point. Barry, you're back! I knew the powers would... To side. No, you stupid. No one was playing the joke, so I abandoned it. <laughs> what? Are you even playing? You've been normal this entire time? Yeah, I was upset at all the things you told me. What have you're I very rude, you know. What have I said? Hmm... Mia, Mia too, never, would, would never have said any of those things. Excuse me, I am the real Mia. Come on. That's something like Mia 1 would say. <laughs> something like Mia 3 would say, because Mia 1 is dead, remember? Uh, oh, yeah. Are you putting numbers in all of us? Well, not all of you. Well, this is no time to mourn the fallen. We have to find the ventilation shaft. Mourn <laughs> the fallen. Very well. Uh, lead the way, dead knight. Along the walls, you see signs that point to different objects within the catacombs, the labyrinth of the basement level. You have the AC ventilation systems, you have the heating system, the boiler room, the secondary storage room, among other things. Other things. The villain must be hiding in the ventilation system. Come on, hurry! I mean, which way is that? Which, which way are we going? Mike, there's no villains here. They planted whatever is turning us into animals and then they fucked off. As you approach, as you follow the signs along the wall for the AC ventilation system, you see the room open up before you, and inside the room, you see, well, the doors are standing open, so someone was in this room. But you hear the AC generator running in overdrive. Whoever activated the system has put it on super blow mode. Aha. <clears throat> now, how do you operate this machine? As you get close to it, you see that there is a giant glass vial is swirling with this noxious looking pink fluid that is currently attached to the ventilation duct. Can I, is there like a super suck mode instead of super blow? There is a super suck mode. To suck I in all of the bad stuff. Aha! Uh -huh. This is too obvious as a pull the lever to Don't do it! The pressure do do? builds inside the bottle. You see the glass bottle expand, cracks form on its side, pieces start to fly out from the glass bottle, and then it explodes in shards of gooey glass, peppering <laughs> all of you. I deflect everything I possibly can. Too late. 
we're gonna do Ooh. glass Maybe. explosion all right we're gonna put this as combat we're gonna put this as a as soon as I see him going for the lever I'm moving to cover can I make him a ghosty ghost because I knew this was gonna happen I warned him to not do it and he still did it A valiant sacrifice to save the school. Just no one is in danger. They're just acting like animals. Barry Beef gets peppered by the rubbery glass shards from the bottle. But for the most part, it just bounces off him. But Jason, Mike, and Mia, they get peppered by the gooey glass bottle. No, but for the most part, really? they are shaken. Oh, fuck. This hurts. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why did my ghost powers not work? That's weird. I guess I wasn't fast enough. You were not. It was a spontaneous explosion. But unfortunately, the pinkish gas fills the AC hub that you're currently in. It swirls around your feet. I'm moving away. Does this look dangerous to you? Of course not. We're immune to it. I don't know why, but we're immune I'm, to it. I'm... I don't believe we're immune to but it, so I'm going to move away. In that last moment, you hear the telltale signs of a trap door closing down further in the hallway, away from the AC room. Closing. Yes. The villain is still here. I unsheath Moonlight Edge. I, I run towards the noise. Good initiative, Mia. I'll follow you. <laughs> I'll follow you as fast as I can. What the fuck did I get that plus six from? Wait, the running is a skill? Yeah, you idiot. There's a yeah, you don't just run uh, double distance. You have to actually uh, roll for it. No. I got a phenomenal pace of fucking one. <laughs> So Jason Mike quickly runs past everyone through the hallway to right here. And Jason Mike, you see that there's a ladder that goes to the roof of the basement. Whatever's above uh -huh. there, whoever's in this room just escaped. Ladders wouldn't, are from casuals. I teleport up there. Wouldn't the, the roof of the basement oh, be... Actually, uh, Mia is super faster than us, though. Yeah, I have three footed edge. Wouldn't my pace, my, my pace is increased by two, and I roll a d10 instead of d6 when running. But you still roll the d6 instead of the d10. Yeah, I don't know how this dice. Oh, here, let me do it for real quick. I can do it. Uh, go to you just control scroll it, you know? No. Uh, a second. No? Put it in. I have to do it. Change the dice, I have to do it. Okay. It's, uh, it is inside there now. And is, is the pace eight? Roll it again. Is it, is it pace 8 because I get plus 2 to pace? Oh, it's pace 8, not d10? It's pace, yeah, it's pace 8 and it rolls a d10. Oh, okay, I got it. Goodness gracious. Fast as fuck. There we He's go. so okay. fast. <coughs> Still ran the same speed. Okay. Same, same roll. By the way, you run past Jason and Mike as he looks up at the ceiling of the basement. And she runs past the ladder <laughs> of the corridor. Well, either way, I'm gonna teleport up the ladder. I climb the ladder. Casual. I jump into the ceiling. <laughs> By the way, wouldn't the ceiling be the floor of the? Um, there, there's a roof of the basement. Yes, which would be the floor of the ground level. I jump through the hole. I teleport through the hole. I jump down the hole. Uh, do you have the jumping, um... Yes. Eight yards. Standing up. Jump. Oh, you're definitely looking. Okay. Yeah, uh, you go ahead and... Let's see if he crashed through the trap door. Let's made it out of... Go ahead and give me a strength roll. 
It's my ear. It's exactly what I'm meant to do. Oh, fuck. Okay, Jeez. yeah. Um, <laughs> right when Jason Mike starts to teleport up the ladder, Mia starts climbing up. You see Barry Beef just lunge upward straight into the trap door. And for the briefest of moments, it seems that the trap door is going to hold. But then it releases and explodes into open air. The courtyard of the high school. Apparently, there's a trap door next to the tree in between shrubberies. What is this secret base bullshit? <laughs> we have uncovered the villain's tracks. Now we must find them. I, uh, I three point land. <laughs> uh, you, you hear like a. like a clap in the distance. Well, how did you get here before me? There, there was a trapdoor. No, I was clapping while on the ladder with one hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> As you land on the ground in your three point pose. You see the briefest of sights. You see someone entering the doorway to go into the classroom section of the high school with a giant red bag over his shoulder, full of something. You can't quite tell who it was because for the first time you see someone that is encased in what seems to be a costume. Costume is completely red, even with a face mask. All, it's, all you saw was the back. But he had a giant blue sack over his shoulder as he quickly sneakily ran into the high school. The classrooms of the high school. I'm going to bound towards him in chasing. In giving chase. Just, just jump as, as much as I can forward. We're in, you What's know, your jumping distance right now? My jumping this this distance, I believe, is sixteen yards. Okay, I'll have to get to the doors. So, do you wish to go through the doors or get to the entrance of the doors? What do you wish to do? Uh, let's drop kick the door. Let's go. More damage to the school property. Hassle. I've already damaged so many doors today. I don't give a fuck. X X X door killer X X. <laughs> give me a fighting roll to hit the door. A fighting roll to hit the door. Who so knows? You can roll bad. Nope, you hit the door, and we're not going to roll because you're doing a drop kick flying from a leaping jump. You just burst through the doors. And at the hallway, do, you are do greeted. A slide. As soon as I climb the ladder, I follow the drop kicking maniac. Me too. So you teleport <laughs> in there, Jason Mike, followed by the quickly running Mia. At the end of the hallway, in startled surprise, you see the sight of the culprit. The man who has done this dubious deed in the high school. Before you do anything, Cease, valid. I want to shout, stop right there, period, man. <laughs> what? Because he's all red, so he's period, man. Uh, no, we're not going that far in this game. <laughs> what? Yeah, hello? Yeah, we're not, we're not uh, breaking in one period in this game, so nope. Okay. I thought it was a funny joke. Not for the tone we're going for this game. So, no. Um, I've boot like Deadpool. Nothing better. It's carnage. No, he's just wearing pretty much what seems to be tightly wrapped bed sheets around him. Well, I run in about the VC. Is he still running? No, he has turned around and he is staring with the mouth, with his mouth agape, at the three of you bursting. Well, at least with uh, Barry Beef bursting through the doors, followed by the teleportating Jason Mike and the very quick moving Mia. I'll, I stop wanna... right there, villain. He goes, "Who are you? I am Dead Knight, protector of this school. Uh. I am." I am Mia, the Phantom Walker. I'm gonna do a pose. He looks at you and he goes, Ah! He turns around and runs. No, stop right there! Please, no fuck. L leap towards him. Run. I'm run. I'm, I'm run. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna leap tackle. <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna tackle him too. <laughs> 
We're going to see who's able to move quick because he is running super fast on his thin legs. What do, I, what, do I, what do I roll to jump towards him then? Nope, we're going to do this. We're going to do it to the chase rules. Oh, fuck. There's I've done, I've done chase rules in a super game, so we'll find out how this kind of works. Let's see. Uh, I, I did the chase rules in the other game. They're pretty good. All right, everyone, go ahead and give me... I'm going to guess either your movement roll or your agility. Well, how does that apply to my jumping skill? That's what I'm trying to think. Wait, I just rolled a 17, and then the, lo the roll is gone. Damn, yes, uh, because this is starting over. Um, uh, hmm. Give me a strength roll, then? For you, I would say yes, as you're literally just going to jump around uh, through the place. But you're not so, really in an area to jump good. Uh, is, was Did we enter at an end point of a corridor? Or well, you're in a hallway. Through? Yeah, but is there a wall behind us, or is there more corridor behind us in both directions? Uh, think of it as... Here's the courtyard right here, the doors, and just one long hallway. That branches off into a T. And you so have classrooms, you have classrooms like right here. Well, you burst where through the we? front door, so you're all pretty much right here. And our okay. villain... Good, good, good. Then I want to use the the wall behind me as 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 a jump off point, and then I'm going to push against it to jump towards the villain. That villain's right here. All right, so I'm going to make this easy. I'm going to have you, Barry Beef, to go ahead and roll your strength because I'm actually your strength going to be based for your movement. We have Jason Mike go ahead and do his agility. And then Mia, same as you, agility. Well, I'm gonna betty that. You know what? Oh, are we using some particular Benny rules in this uh, case? Not yet, because I need, still need to modify the um, system. What the hell, Demo? Um, less Benny. No, oh, that's more like it. There you go. What the actually made not much of a difference. Uh, but because this determines how many cards you get to draw. So, um, so Barry Beef, you get two cards. Jason Mike gets two cards. And then, yeah, gets one. Well, and then my the guy, the Super Thief. In the combat tracker? Because when you get a club, something bad happens. Yes. Well, well I got a club. Great. Yeah. We got the thief. Well, I'm not mad. I got a 69, so... Alright, and the thief <laughs> rolls for his agility to run away. He gets a... He's gonna Benny that. I don't have to use my actual own bennies. So, where are my benny tools at? Right here. Ooh, he gets two cards. There we go. Aha! So the did we just literally all draw nine like literally everyone yeah but luckily the nine of hearts get to go so here's how calm here's how the tracker works for chases when you do chases the cards you get you can only target in combat people that are below you on the chase tracker which means if this thief is able to get better than all of you three times he escapes. He can attack all of you, but I need you to attack him. You have to think about it as kind of cinematic narration where he is literally dodging all the blows, all the things you throw at him. He is dodging between probably the people in the hallways that are acting like um, animals and cows and all that. So in this situation, the thief is faster than all of you. Not quite faster, but he's able to just dodge everything, get in a better position. He's running away, screaming, going, Aah! with his arms up, running with his sack uh, behind his back. 
Now, unfortunately, Barry beat because he got the nine of clubs. Something bad might happen to him, so we'll find out. Um, can I roll a spirit roll to turn intangible as this chase is beginning? Uh, do it on your turn. So, first off, the thief goes, ah! and just running through the hallway as he's being chased by the 3v now. So He's literally in the root of character. Yes. Jason Mike, and unfortunately, none of you are going to be able to target the thief right now, so he is literally just gaining a big increase on you, so you need to think of narrative stuff right now instead of combat. As you're literally running through the hallways now, pushing up beside students, teachers, faculties, you catch a glimpse of Ron as you run past. And are they still all animals, or did they cure that? You notice that the ventilation is still kicking in, so you see the pink smoke is starting to be sucked back into the ventilation system, but currently they are still acting like animals. Damn, Bonnie. I. Didn't I will run after heroically. Do I just roll this or what? No. Uh, so think of rolls you can do that don't involve combat. If not, then just pass your turn. Alright. So, Barry Beef, a major obstacle. Objects of some sort get in the way, make a trait roll at minus two to avoid them or suffer damage appropriate. The half top speed, if in a vehicle, or fatigue levels, if on foot. So, as you are running and jumping through the hallway, Barry Beef, in front of you all of a sudden appears a group of students acting like a train, a herd of buffalo. I want to strike through them like I'm a bowling ball. Just like do a belly flop slide on the ground. Like, that's what I essentially did, because they just waxed the floors. So I'm sliding right into them. I'm just going to sweep them off their feet and move on. Give me a strength minus two. Okay. Okay, you barrel through like a bowling ball as all the students get thrown around, some hitting the ceiling, the walls. One gets well, no, thrown no, through a classroom. Not no, no, we're not going not violent. We're not going violent, but it's just like just the image of it looks like they're all yeah. like, woo, they're all like flying around. In the, in the in the in the you can you can hear the the sound effect for when uh when you hit a strike, you know the the sound of all the bowling pins getting knocked over. <laughs> All right, very beef. Going past the turn. Mia. All right. So, as I see the chase begin to start, I'll turn intangible. And... Give it to start. Yeah, I'll turn intangible and continue running. Okay, we're gonna redo this. You have to catch them in three turns, or he gets away. It's a better way to do it. All right. How once do you again, catch someone? Stop him. Got to get initiative shot above him and then stop him from moving. That's how you catch him. Keep him from running. But if he gets to run for three full turns, after the third turn, if he gets higher initiative list, then I'll say two of you, he gets away. So when you say we cannot... Um, we can we roll again? Yes. When you say we cannot target him, does that include stuff like intimidation or taunting? Yes. Anything that targets him, you cannot do. You can target yourself, your allies that are below you, you can. But you cannot target him with any targeted what's, abilities. What's the minimum to get two cards? Uh, eight. Ah, oh, cool. All right, he got one card. What's the minimum to get three cards? Oh, all right, he's going good. Um, to get three cards, you need twelve. Let's go. He got an ace, so we can't really do anything. So great. So he's but getting he... away. He is just screaming, Wah! running with a sack over his shoulder. So some of the some of you draw an ace as, as heights. A joker. Oh, I get ace of, uh, actually, I believe hearts or um, diamonds will be above him. So, last we have is Mia. So, we'll see if Mia gets Was, uh, was spades above clubs or below? Um, I believe spades are below clubs. Alright. I'm gonna queen of diamonds. Once again, he goes, ah! running through the hallways, looking over his shoulder and going, Oh my god, I'm being chased by supers! As he's running, screaming top of his lungs. I'm trying to 
that's fair. Uh, is he? Is this? Is this guy like adult? No, he seems he's he's screaming in a high pitched squeak. He seems to be a teenager, just like you. They've the villains have hired child soldiers <laughs> after him. <laughs> this is Coney twenty twenty all over again. So, Hurst, since I can go through all like some of the. Uh... Some of the things in the way. Can I get closer to him narratively? Uh, sure, but you need to be just out of reach. Okay, I'll just be out of reach. Because right. you could be like phasing through walls and everything like that. You're phasing through people right now, chasing after him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you could have some great fun like RPing a ghost. <laughs> well, I'm just I'm just like translucent, not actually a ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then you look like a ghost to me. I so, guess. once again, Barry Beef, you just he's just seemed to be more agile than what seems to be. Maybe he's just terrified of the environment. Maybe he's he terrified of the three of you chasing him. But he is just... <laughs> you see, he, he looks back as he's running, and you just see the huge look of fear on his face as he is running, screaming. He has never had more adrenaline be pumped through his fucking body absolutely. in his entire life. He is absolutely terrified running from... As he said, SUPERS! He's just running. Does he look like he's being fatigued by this running? Um, well, three rounds, we'll I'm gonna say the no. the next card he draws. Yeah, that he's, might be it. He, he's going stronger the further he runs. Jason, okay, that's turn berry beef. Let me go oh, to Jason okay. Mike. I just wanna do some, uh, I mean, you can, get, you can do both to boost yourself, stuff like that, so. All right, another major obstacle. Hmm. Jason, Mike, as you're running, you're behind everyone. Right when Barry Beef does a hurling jump over a, a group of students, one of the automated robotic band playing instruments comes rolling out one of the side corridors in front of you, aiming at you a group of instruments, a tuba. It starts playing music, but you're about to bash into it. I need you to roll agility to go through it. Or roll Can agility I... to teleport before you run into it. Aha. Uh -huh. Can you slice it in two <gasps> instead? No, you gotta smell it. Okay. Uh -huh. Alright. At the last second, you teleport right past it as it starts to play and blare its tuba music. No, I don't teleport j right past it. I do a jump, backflip, then teleport, then land, and then keep running. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Pass initiative. And if he does it one more time, he gets away with his adrenaline screaming. We roll one more time. One more time. I'll yeah, do his card. Yeah, yeah. I'll do his card last. You know, it kind of sucks how my like, roll oh, wasn't validated. It sucks how my running is actually better than my actual agility. <laughs> there we go. Oof. No. no. All right, oh. Barry Beef. Hey, Barry Beef might do it. Do I get four oh, cards? Oh yeah. All right, Ooh, you got the king. king. That might be good. All right, Mia is gonna pull gonna... the he's... five of what spades. Come on, you're a you're you're a you're a group here. What is what are the odds he pulls an ace here? What one in twenty four? All right, let's find out. Let's see. Winner Wolf from right now. He gets a. So this might do it. Time to tackle this boy. So if he doesn't get stopped right now, he gets away. Very beef. What do I do to stop this man? Okay, so first off, right two is actually what you get on the um, the card draw determines the actual range. But you get line of sight. So, let me pull up the PDF real quick. Alright, so, you got the king, which means short range. So you jump right next to him. You can do a melee attack. Or you're just, you're pretty much a short range. You're, you're in melee range. Oh, can I attempt to restrain him? Absolutely. You're gonna grapple him. What is that roll? Still I fighting? can't remember how to do grappling rolls. Find out. I'm assuming it's fighting rolls. Pretty sure it is. Then a, and then it initiates a contested strength versus agility roll. All right, oppose fighting rolls. All right, roll your fighting skill. He's gonna roll his d4 for fighting. He oh, got a two. You got a five. Okay, so yeah, you jump. Oh, you tell me how you grab him. I uh, I f tackle him at his knees. All right. So you see Barry Beef do a giant leap through the hallway. 
grabs his ankles and feet with his uh, bare arms, and the thief just falls forward and smashes face first into the ground. At that moment, the sack on his back opens up and spills out all its contents, along with the note. It is a giant collection of erasers. <clears throat> is this eraser head? The note says, for his long life goal to commence this is exactly what the happened. eraser operation of 2018. And have eaten over cats, been okay. He goes, No, and he's wailing on the ground while he's being held down by Barry Beef. I want to take off his mask, cease your resistance. All right, Barry Beef, so that's gonna be actually going past your turn. All right, we're still in combat. Chase, chasing, uh, no longer chasing, we're gonna be in actual combat now because he's actually stopped. Um, now. Because he's held down, which you can tell immediately, um, Barry, he is not strong at all. I just kind of hold him with my, with, in one arm. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, this kid, this kid's like, just frail thin. <sighs> we caught you at last, villain. Stop <laughs> right there. <laughs> running out of breath there, buddy. <sighs> He goes, No! I was so close to doing it! Doing what? I was gonna steal all the erasers at the school! But why turn everyone into animals? So I could steal them! More importantly, how the fuck do you turn people into animals in the first place? Uh, I... I I'm not telling you. <laughs> can I intimidate him? Absolutely. Wait, can, I try, can I attempt persuasion first? Here, let's go by actual, uh... Yeah, yeah we'll, 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 we'll go to combat. He's all dead. We'll go to combat now, so... Can I do something before you guys do... Yeah, he, we, demo's act. Yes, we'll have a demo act. So, I wanna... Uh, phase back in and take off his mask as he's being pinned down. Okay. It's just a sandy-haired kid, bunch of freckles. Looks like a nerd like you guys. <laughs> Excuse. Excuse us? I don't look like a nerd. We're the, we're the best, coolest kids in the block. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as I take off his mask, does he freak out or does he not really care? No, he, he's, he's caught now. He just He's just kind of wailing on the floor, going, No! I, I turn and I say, Me a three, that's really bad manners. What do you mean? This is the reward we get for, you know. So you respect uh, you respect the privacy of a villain's identity. No, this is a boss drop. You don't you don't take off their mask. That's this, rude. This is a legend, legendary mask. What if, what if you what if you wore a mask? Would you like a villain that just defeated you to just take it off and know exactly who you are? Yeah, well, if, <laughs> me. Uh, put the mask on. <laughs> if he vanquishes me in battle, his my loot is his. Just no, like... me. You're thinking wrong. The loot is right there as I point towards the erasers. Oh, that's the loot. Okay, I'll, I'll drop the mask on his face and take out his erasers. Okay, what it's, you... just, it's just full of every kind of eraser. Yeah, erasers for like blackboards, yeah, pencil erasers, pen erasers, just erasers. I, I, I'll take his whole bag of erasers. There are human hands in there? No. But Sorry. you just said that there's erasers for blackboards. Yeah, they're like those, uh... That's human hands. Though Those are erasers for blackboards. No idea what you're talking about, but no. There are no body parts just... in the bag. Oh, okay. Another joke fell flat. Apparently. As you might have noticed, you're not very funny. I think that my uh, humor is just too uh, avant-garde. So, so, does he react now if I took the bag of erasers? No, he knows he is thoroughly caught. He's like, he's just, oh, uh, I, I didn't know there were supers at this school. Oh, whoa. that's so awesome! Well, say that to the police when they get here, villain. No, I don't what? Think, I don't think that we need to call the police. I think this is just a prank. Ugh. <sighs> 
I really feel stupid now going all out against this kid. I need to sit down. Ugh, what happened? I want to shuffle through his razors to find any cute ones. I'm sure there's going to be a collection of a bunch of different kinds. You got like video game ones, you got ones that are goofy shapes, you got star shaped, heart shaped. Yeah, you have every kind of razor you can think of. I want to pluck. I want to pocket a razor so it looks obvious like they're fully in my pockets and they're spilling out. Okay. And I but put... enough about the razors. What about the animal fluid? Uh. He said it should only once the, once the air is gone, it should stop within an hour, and then even that the the liquid the air stops after about three four hours. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but who who sold this to you? No, I, no, 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 I'm not telling you. Could you please? All right, let's do a spirit. A po spirit, I'm a spirit of D6. He rolls a four. Um, he goes, he, um, um, if I tell you, will you let me go? I'll look at Barry. <laughs> if you don't tell me, I won't let you go. Going. Mm. Mm. Do I have to Benny? Maybe, possibly. He's going. Mm. Mm. Uh. Let me go and I. Let me go and I tell you. Let me go and I tell you. I will never do this again. I will never try to steal races again. Well, fuck. He's really not gonna tell you. Let's go. Ah. Uh. If if I tell you who he is, and if I if I tell you where I bought it from, then then, then, then let me go. Yeah, sure. What's your name? Uh, my name is um. Alan. Okay. Alan Before Alan we... Alan Tool. What school? Uh, here. Well, there's no other school genius. I've never seen this kid now with this choice works. See, see, no one ever notices me, and he slaps the ground. That's why I was gonna do this. Well, maybe you should have brought your animal fluids with you and then actively show people it, and then they'd see you instead of stealing a bunch of erasers in the costume that no one would see your face in. While they're all unconscious, basically, because they're pretending to be animals. If you yeah. if you wanted to do this for attention, I think you've missed the mark by uh, pretty much everything. Well, I, I, I was gonna, I was gonna be the I was gonna be the next the next person that everyone talks about the next the next super thief in the school. But, uh, yeah, but I, nobody I guess... would know that it's you, and then if you told them that it's no, you, then but they would know my name, eraser That's thief. Your name. That's a stupid name. <laughs> Shut I up! Do a little giggle. You know, for a boss battle, you're not, you're not really rich at all. I thought you'd give us more, you know. No, what do you mean? I'm not a super. You're a super. I'm not. Then why did you get involved in this? Just I didn't. <laughs> why become a villain if you're not a super? Okay, let's, let's, that's this kind of uh, that's kind of the problem here. You know, you're using. Uh, some magical liquids that uh, have such ludicrous effects on everybody in the school and you could really consider this an act of terrorism if you wanted to go to an extreme degree and uh, and you're doing this as a regular kid like this is a little this is you this is dangerous you should stop this or at the very least give us some more rewards after the fact they cause you this is nothing we're not, we're not shaking down this kid. We're not bullies. Well, well, no. I mean, if he had anything on him that was valuable, then we could. Well, that's it. if you took it, that a little be you stealing it. No, we defeated him, right? We didn't defeat him. He was running away, and I just grabbed him. 
So all the loot that he has should be yours. Me, uh, three, please go to the corner and stop speaking. No, I want these erasers. You can take the erasers, I don't give a damn. Cool. We'll have to talk to the school about this anyway, but whatever. How can I ever be a racist dealer if I have no powers when there's supers here? <laughs> Hey, hey, uh, kid. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Alan, was it? If you want to become a super, come down to his master's sin self discipline <laughs> downtown, and you can train to become just as strong. I train there weekends if you want to join. What? What? R really? R really? Well, don't take oh, it. Yeah. Don't don't buy the bullshit this kid is selling you. He, you see how out of breath he is? Train my ass. Hey, listen. I train in fighting, not cardio. <laughs> Maybe you should train cardio too. Anyway, yeah, they'll know they'll know of you as a razor thief because we're not giving these razors back. We'll be accomplices in crime now. But you can take all the credit. I'm cool with that. In exchange, please tell us where you got this fucking magical liquid from. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, I I I could show you where it's at. It's it's a little bit uh. It's about five, six blocks away from here. I, I mean, the guy seemed kind of nice. He, he told me that this would make everyone be funny animals just for, for a little bit. That sounds like an extremely dangerous prank, nevertheless. What if somebody pretended to be a wolf and bit someone to death? Have you considered that? Uh, no, no. That actually sounds pretty metal. <laughs> I would pay to see it, but yeah, but... Still no, it's is. dangerous. You shouldn't use that in schools. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely not. It's definitely dangerous. You start to hear people go, you hear the blank, 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 uh, 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 what? Uh, what? People start oh, to shit. come to around you now. Okay, Alan, uh, you gotta drop the suit, otherwise everybody will know. Uh, let's go, let's go, we, we, we can't be here, let's go! Alright, let's, let's make our dastardly escape. Okay. I'm, I'm running. I'm running with a full of my pockets, full of erasers. We are the. I'm grabbing the duffel bag of erasers. We are the villains now. Wait a minute. I guess there's no harm in this, right? It's fucking erasers. Yeah, erasers. I t I'll take no part in doing the reward. I'm. I'm leaving right now. Call me after school. The school doesn't even give erasers to people. I'm not, I'm not taking part in stealing. It's not part of my code. It's not stealing. We're, we're not stealing. Reward. This guy owns it now. He already stole it. Yeah, Jason, we, we're not stealing. We're basically acquiring what was given to us. No, but like, okay, let's listen. This... Ignore the second one. <laughs> this... Alright, all right. so there's no harm these, done? These erasers were in the fucking warehouse getting dust on them. And they never get used by anybody. No, no I, I was taking these from all the students that are acting like animals. Okay, now you have to go to jail. <laughs> what? No, they're just erasers. I mean, no one's gonna miss erasers. It's private. It's not like I stole their. It's not like it's not like that stupid Ron and Harry would take all their lunch money. I'm not taking anything important. It's just erasers. Stealing is still stealing, villain. Well, it doesn't matter. Like their parents paid money for this eraser. You you stealing. No, you no, said you, you said you let me go. I show yeah, you where about this, you let me go. How about this? We let him go, but if you promise never to do this again. And if you show us where the gas is. But yes, I will I promise that I won't do it again. I mean how can I? There's actual supers here. I can't it's so yeah, stupid. You, you better... uh, Listen, don't Hey It's not what... your fault. You couldn't what... have known. Where's my Volt Run racer? Uh, where? Hey, hey, did you check my racer? And you start to hear people go, No, I don't got your damn eraser. And people start arguing okay, in on. the uh, classroom. I got an now. idea. I got an idea. I write down a, on, a, on a piece of paper real quick. Uh, I am the almighty eraser th thief. Uh, if you look down on people again, next time you will not get these back. And write in an evil mwahaha laugh. And I put that on top of the duffel bag full of erasers and I just leave it on the ground. And then we get out of here. All right. 
All right. <laughs> if you look down on people again next time, you this won't be just laying around here, and you'll never see your razors ever again. And looks at you, Barry. He's like, "Wait, you actually did?" He cheers because I'm still the eraser thief. And he screams in the air. Kid. Oh, sorry, sorry. All right, all right, let's go. As one of the teachers starts looking around in your direction, as you all duck out of the um, the front entrance of the high school. Yeah, I didn't say that it's me. I said I'm the eraser thief, and that's you, right? Oh, oh you're so awesome. Let's go. We 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 can't get caught. Let's go. Let's go. And he starts running in front of you guys. No, I'm just Barry. Uh, oh, oh, okay, just Barry. <laughs> oh god, I did not intend for that. <laughs> for that fucking reference, that was completely accidental. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm just Barry. Okay, just Barry. As you're running through the streets, dodging cars and going through cross streets. Why are we running at this point? We already get no, got don't, don't, don't. You're, you're jogging away from the school, but once you leave the vicinity of the school and the site of the school, you start going at the normal pace, seeing the everyday bustling activity of Auburn Arbor, Harbor. And as you walk in, Barry, not Barry, Alan's talking about, oh, oh, what kind of parents do you have? He's just kind of pointing. He's going back and forth between Barry, Jason, Mike, and Mia. And just he's just grilling you guys. And he's just staring in amazement and wonder. That is like, I I've never seen supers up close. Uh, <laughs> are you so cool? He, he starts poking you, Barry, with his finger. Okay, this is, this is getting a little awkward. Could you please I'm not? Lo no, no, no. I'm loving every second of this. And I'm just explaining, like, the most anime backstory I have come up with for Dead Knight. I'm living every second. You got a name? Oh, oh, that's so dead. dead it's cool. Uh, what about you? Yes. He points at you, Mia. You, Mia. What's your super name? I'm not even paying attention. I'm paying attention to the eraser is in my hand. Uh, 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 you, you, uh, beefy, right? What, what, what's your name? I'm not beefy, okay? Oh, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Very beef. That, 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 that's what that's what Ron and Harry say about you. You're just you're super beefy, beef. Wait, and then what do they say about you? That you're a stupid little twerp with. Shitty looking face. No, they they call me Twig. Yeah, so are you Twig? No. Yeah, then they'll call me Beefy. Oh, but then what? What should I call you? Just Barry. Oh, okay, okay, Barry. But what about your what's your, what's your super name? Every super's got to have a name. What what's your name? Um, I don't have one. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Well, oh, all right. Also, please don't tell anybody about this. Uh, of course not. I, I know the number one thing about supers are their secret identity. I would not say anything. Hey, how many erasers do you have at home? Oh, I I, I think last time I counted, I have 6,425 and a half. Oh my god, this guy's insane. Hmm, a reasonable connection. But, but these, I collected myself. I didn't steal these. Those, those ones I bought. And collected. Mm. And, well, maybe I took what some from you. What is it about erasers that makes you so fascinated with them? But they're so awesome! They're so magical! They make things disappear! Think uh, about it! Mia? You draw a drawing, and then you can make it vanish. Mia! Yes? It disappear as well, alright? Are you, are, you, are you an eraser? <laughs> I can't disappear without... Come on, I can't do that. Don't, don't, don't... Wait, wouldn't that mean that she dies? Don't tell her to kill herself. Alright, oh, sorry, Barry. Why are you apologizing to him? You should be apologizing to oh, me! Oh, 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 over there! That, 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 that shop! That, that, that's where I bought it. And the tip he's pointing at is all the buildings around the area are like in nice, clean, pristine conditions, except for the one building that's covered in black, like grease and just dirt and grime. I, I bought it from there. Looks pretty legit to me. Well, I mean. I, I did go in there on accident, but that, that's that's where I bought it. Yes, a very dark and grimy area. Told you on accident, walked well, in. Right I in actually there. didn't know it was dark. I, I found it at nighttime, so wait, I didn't realize it wait. was dark. Is this place also run by a old Asian man? <laughs> With it's, a beard? The same, it's the same old Asian man. Uh, no, no, it, it's run by some. It's, 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 it's some adult. I mean, he seemed kind of nice and normal. You know what they always say. 
Never trust adults. Never trust. Yeah, never trust adults. Okay, okay, all right, all right. As you get closer to the building, you see no sign. You see the obvious entrance. You see double doors that go into the interior. The double doors are glass, but they're black stained, so you can't see through it. But for all types of purposes, it does not seem to be locked. I enter. You open the door, and you're greeted by the interior, which is actually fairly clean compared to the outside. Actually, can I ask a question? Yes. What time of day is it, and is it, is it school over? No, it's like literally 12 p.m. Oh. Yeah, still goes, still, school still goes for about two more hours. Oh, whatever, we're skipping. Yes, you are. So you go inside, and behind the counter... I don't think anybody would care anyway, given that everybody's acting like animals. I think I'm pretty sure they're still going to be confused about that. So school's over? As far as I'm concerned, I'm not going back there. I, look, I don't want another call from my, from the school to my mother again, man. I don't think there... I, I, if there's any call to your mother right now, it's going to be, we're sorry your son acted like an animal. Uh, yeah, I, I can't imagine they'd be, uh, well, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I mean, everyone did act like a crazy animal, so... I'm pretty sure there's about a half a dozen people, apart from us, who are going to be missing right now, because they've thought they're fucking cheetahs or something, and sprinted off into the distance. No, well, I did see a couple of kids, uh, acting like horses leave the school, so, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's more than just us, uh, Damn, outside the school. Now this. This town never gets any sleep, does it? Wheelman, that sounds that sounds like a villain. Who who is that? Who Wheelman? Is, is he a wheel? Well, no, no, he saying? drives a big wheel. No, no, he's a wheel that drives a wheel. No, it's a movie that we watched recently. Oh, I, I never heard of that movie. Is it good? Is it about supers? Nice cover. <laughs> Anyways, it's that interior. You see this man. You see the kind of reception area of the interior of this uh, building, and behind him is just a. Kind of like in a, a pawn shop. And you see a bunch of knickknacks and objects behind them. And it's literally just a, a giant random looking pawn shop. There it goes. Oh, yes. May I help you? Is it an old Asian man? No, yes, I'm an looking, Asian. Yes, we're looking for uh, the individual who sold this man a, 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 a bottle of... Animal fluid. Oh, uh, let, let me see. He puts on a pair of uh, spectacles. Oh, oh, I remember you from yesterday. You, oh, you bought that potion of animal acting. Oh, how did it go? You told me it was for the school play. How was the school play? Did, did everyone like it? And Alan's yeah, kind of like, uh, uh, I, I didn't use it for that. Everyone loved it. He used it for a prank. Oh, fun, fantastic. Okay, okay. Now, what else are you interested in? I have other objects of possible importance. Potion seller. I require your strongest potions. Oh, but potions of strength can only help out people that already don't have strength. Ones that have strength have no benefit from a potion of strength. How do you know that I have strength, first of all? <sighs> Second of all, it was a reference, so never mind. And because what you see around me is not meant for ordinary people. And if you did Why not did notice- Why did you sell it to this kid? Well, he came walking in. I'm not gonna turn away a customer. <laughs> well, how do you know we're- But he can't handle your strongest potions. How, well, how it's not the potion he took, it's the potion he gave to other people. But for your question, I know that you, and you, and you, as he points off three of you, are supers because, well, my machine right there can tell as you all kind of look around and turn back to the door at the entrance, you literally see on the side walls, um, looks like a scanning machine. And he goes, That right there can let me know if anyone has super's abilities. And I see that you have it. This how has how to big be, is it? This has to be legal. Oh yes, of course it's legal. These were implemented in most buildings when super started arriving years ago. Oh, they don't make them no more, so it's very, very hard to find. Hey, Mister, how, how big is the thing? It, it's really encompassing the entire doorway of the building. Oh, Jesus! Yeah. Hey, Mister, I did not give you consent to scan me, and you've 
illegally oh. without consent scanned check, check. No, 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 no. Check Super's Code 214-56A Part 2 of the abridged version of the new Super's Rules from 1925. No, sorry, 1972. It is legal to identify Super's, but it is not legal to give out the information. So I'm allowed to know, but I'm not allowed to sell the information. That is in page 24-5 of the New Accords. I can show you right here. He pulls out a literally like 4,000 page book and throws it on the desk. I'm a minor though. That's, that doesn't matter. Well... All citizens that's... are approved to know of, of supers that walk around. Although, lucky for you, I'm the only one in the city that has this machine. No one else lucky does. Lucky for you. Lucky for you. I'm not going to report you to the police for revealing the fact that we're supers. Uh, like I it said, is... it's not illegal. So you talk to the police, I would not be in trouble. If well, I know. tell anyone, Wait, then I'll be in trouble. You... Yeah, but you did tell someone. Yes, I told you. Oh, you're... you're... Oh, he's pointing at uh, Alan. Yeah, he's um, not a super, and you've just revealed our identity to him. Oh, um... And with I, that, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I flip up my phone immediately. <laughs> I'm calling the pulley. Oh, no, no, so... no, 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 please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. I, I, I take so... out all my erasers, <laughs> I, I take out all my erasers, uh, uh, I want to sell these for a, uh, a lot of money to keep your mouth shut, or rather uh, your arm mouth shut. The, and, the, uh, there are erasers, they're, the they're only worth... Like two dollars for all of this. No, no, no. There's I mean, some are even erasers. used. Now they're super erasers. Did the machine no, say? Come super on, erasers? they're not super erasers. I know what erasers are. These are part of my ability. All of a sudden, the erasers on the desk start to shake and vibrate. See, <laughs> these are part of my ability. He goes, oh, and he pulls out a magnifying glass and stares at it. Oh, this is most peculiar. What, what is happening here? Oh, why are they shaking? All of a sudden, Alan, what did you do to the razor? They all fly backwards, peppering the three of you, the four of you, including Alan, as they burst out of the glass door behind all of you, and standing there at the front <laughs> is your nemesis, <laughs> Rubber. Wheelman. Wheel man, it's you. <laughs> well done. <laughs> this 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 demands an appropriate reaction. But I can't scream anymore because it's late. So I'm gonna have to show you YouTube video. What the fuck? You didn't see that. Can't copy. Here we go. This is that's our enemy, right? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, do we see the wheel man in front of us? Okay, give us a second. What is the wheel? Is, man he, look is like? he fully powered up or is this the goon of the me wheel man? Give me a second. Is there any masks laying about? I mean, this looks like a pawn shop, so maybe. I need to cover my face. I don't want to be known as dead Look knight. Look at the combat tracker. <laughs> oh my god! It's the rubber. So, so the wheelman is standing right there, right? Yeah, so the wheelman is literally, he unfolds into a small rubberized robot made out of rubber. Alright, I want to use my invention card. Since I fought him before, do I know any weaknesses that I've uh, maybe seen or caught? Hey, uh, hey, demo. Ooh, interesting. What do you yeah. What do you think makes rubber disappear? 
Look, this may be something more complex. Than fire, you know, I guess. You know, I guess fire or acid. You know, like any of the common things. You know, <laughs> acid. make sense. No, maybe there's something more. We important. are we are in a super pawn shop. There's maybe literally there's... no way this guy does not have some kind of acid. Maybe there's something more to him. He has a know. he has a super flamethrower. <laughs> Either way, you'll get plus two to hit for the rest of the round, uh, Mia. Okay. Your tech Not and damage rolls. Session. Since the session. Yeah, rest of the session. We're gonna we're gonna wrap up a little later on. But with that, the rubberized rubber army attack. All right. So we're going into full initiative, starting right now. Ooh, our minions. All right. You see, rubberized rubber. We call we'll call him rubber, or rubber the wheel man. He points his rubbery arm at you and goes squeak squeak as the <laughs> other tires unfold into other robotic rubber robots and they all jump at you squeak squeak and they go after jason mike the true identity of this wheel man is sean connery oh shit no i don't have my uh i don't have my weapon activated so i'm totally vulnerable you're unarmed <laughs> Yeah, I am unarmed. I don't have. I haven't activated my uh, moonlight edge yet. Oh no. Which means I, I should have lowered parry. All right, give me a second. You're I'm... going to get decimated immediately. Why do you have toughness of seven, you you monster? Because I have a parry of eleven. Okay. Uh, here, let's do this. Um, because I made a mistake. Let's go to items. Let's go to new. Yeah, you did make a mistake. You attacked us. <laughs> This was your last mistake. <laughs> Rubber. Why won't you die? There we go. This is the part Ooh. where you fall down and. All right, you don't have. Up. So, what's your uh, penalty without? What's your parry without the uh, sword? Actually, uh, I missed. I missed the, it's only the weapon that requires activation. I still have parry activated. Oh, okay. So it, it's like. Ad super high tech advanced no, reflexes. Mm -mm, it does not work like that. Do you have a martial artist? No. Then, if you are not carrying a weapon, you're considered unarmed in your parry. Is they don't have an armed defender in this game. In supers. You could have told me that before I took martial expert. I just realized it when I was reading the rule book uh, this morning. So we'll adjust it later on. Um, I wouldn't have taken that edge then. Alright, we'll adjust it after this. But now let's go and do to the guy. You can change off the edge. Um, next guy. So the, the entire squad of... So there's three squads of rubber minions along with rubber himself. The first squad jumps at Jason Mike. First squad swings with his rubber sword and misses. The second one super misses. And then the third one jumps at Jason Mike. Oh, sorry. Don't go yet. The third one jumps at Jason Mike with his rubber sword. And he was the one. Okay. And we go to Jason Mike. All right. In in character and flavor, every single hit, I dodge like a, like from the Matrix. I just swoosh side to side and dodge everything. As the final strike misses me, I pull out and unsheath Moonlight Edge. <laughs> and I strike back with vengeance. This is my favorite anime. Oh my god. The first rubber and minion gets struck by Moonlight Edge. And I strike. Yeah. <laughs> it's it gets, like and down. the first rubber minion gets cut down. And a bunch of things. Dude, I hope this anime has a second season. It's like that it's like that did, thing did, that did, everybody did, that did all three die or what? No, just one. Oh, so you can still attack it? Yeah. Looks a little wonky in the combat track, it's all. How many attacks do you have? Uh, I have three attacks. Okay, then you attack three times. Ma! They're all together. They all, they all attack them one time, so they're all together, so. Is the, the strike strike again. Again. Wait, what? It doesn't work. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Yeah. It's cool. Open up the list so you can target them. Oh my god. Ah, uh, please stop. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh my god. <laughs> As I look to the last one, and I strike with vengeance. Literally my favorite anime. Hot. Yeah. <laughs> He's too strong. 
Just like quickly dispatches the three rubber minions. And I look intensely at the wheel man himself. And then my turn. <laughs> All right, rubber <laughs> turns around. He looks at you, Jason and Mike, that just took out three of his comrades. He goes and he targets you with his Rubber Ninfu, as he jumps at you and starts wailing punches of rubberized fists at you. Do I dodge them all or do I get hit? Find out at the next episode. But <laughs> as he's Super doing side. the somersault in the air, he unleashes a barrage of rubber shurikens at you also. Rubber shurikens. Rubber yes. shurikens. The strongest weapon of them all. <laughs> wait, wait, rubber shurikens? They're projectiles, right? Yes. I deflect them! I rolled a 13. <laughs> I deflect them. Uh, let's read up with deflection, boss. Ah, uh, fuck, where do I read this? This is the best action anime I've seen. You click on the dot next to it so that it expands it. Alright, um, if the hero is on with a weapon, blah 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 blah, to deflect an attack using his period ability, this requires an agility roll for thrown weapons or minus two versus firearms. So I roll agility, and if I succeed, I deflect it? Uh... No, then you can use your parry to deflect it, but your parry's still lower than the 13, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, All so... Right. So my, he's hidden, so... So you're getting hit by the yeah. rubberized shurikens. You're like Deadpool from the movie, who who's like doing the Matrix while getting shot at, and then he <gasps> stands up, and he's like... got hundreds of holes in him still. But yeah, I, I dodged it all. <laughs> no, 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 but, but please. Oh, yeah, no bennies. Okay, yeah. You get, you get pelted by rubber shurikens. Wait, do we have five bennies, or...? Nope, I'll go back to the three. I think five's a little too much. Uh, uh, I don't trust Mike to give the final word of this. Can you read this first? Can you tell me if I can deflect it or not? No, it's, it's what Mike actually said. So if you're going to roll your agility at minus two for this being thrown. If you succeeded, he would go against your parry. But your parry is still uh, lower than his attack roll. So you still get hit. But not oh, with okay. the raise. Not with the raise, actually. So if you do do this, um, you're not going to hit the raise. So I'll actually reduce the raise dice. So you might be shaken Me instead of uh, wounded. So go ahead and do uh, your uh, agility roll. Okay, so you did that. So actually, I would have gone against your give myself eleven. So it would have been a hit. So actually, you didn't take you didn't take twelve damage. You took uh, eight damage. So you're shaking instead. So it did help. But Fuck now it. he's gonna hit you with his rubber ninfu. Nin what? rubber ninja fu. The strongest Naruto character. But he misses with the rubber ninja fu. Doesn't work. It goes so... very beef. Just in flavor here, I, I used my sword to deflect all of his shuriken, but some hit, and then he strikes, oh, and yeah. I whoosh, dodge it completely. Take that back. He's actually using bennies. I forgot he has bennies. Damn it. You've taunted him far enough. Well, he's gonna... DM's gonna shoot himself all, all out of bennies, so... <laughs> oh, he has his own bennies. I still have my own bennies also. But, yes, he does, oh, he does a no. bunch of strikes, but luckily Jason Mike just kind of just dodges them all with his uh, sword and parrying. And that's and what not. Would have thought rubber is actually pretty harmless. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's thrown at at high hyperbolic speeds. Wait, isn't it easier to hit him because he's shaken or You would think, but I'll have to look it up. This is Dead Knight we're talking about. He's like on a knee, still like swinging his katana around. I uh, never stop being weave until I die. <laughs> okay. Uh, I see. I see Wheelman attack Dead Knight, uh, and within me, a rage builds in 
as as I rem- reminisce or you know grieve the dozens of hot dogs that have fallen victim to this man's to this thing's reckless abandon and uh, to pay proper respects to all these lost hot dogs and to avenge them I uh, I rush towards Wheelman screaming your quarry is with me leave them alone you will pay for what you've done all these hot dogs they had families they were ready to be eaten and you you've wasted them all and uh, I'd like to just attack him, I guess, with regular punches against rubber. Does that, how does that work? <laughs> target, target him and hit him. <laughs> Which is, is it the big one over here? Is it, uh, hold on, combat. Rubber might deflect his punches, but it still feels the pain. This. Oh, I've hit. Unharmed. That, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna penny that because I've already wasted all my bennies. Fucking two and two. Come on. Yeah, bad roll. Your fist just wow. bounced off of rubber. Mia. All right. I will look at the current situation. Be uh. Looks like Jason has taken care of the rumor minions that are right. And Barry went for the boss. Which means he wants to loot just as much as I do. And I'll also run towards the boss. And I'll turn myself intangible. And basically get inside the Ripper Man. The Wheel Man. And I'll end my turn inside him. And uh, me a three dice. No, I'm intangible. It's okay. But you okay. turn. Oh, oh, you didn't turn back to normal? Well, I can't because it's an action. Oh, uh, so you'll so. do it next time. Rubber well, minions, it... jump on berry beef. I swat them away. With his rubber sword. And he misses the rubber sword. The next one, with his also rubber sword, attacks berry beef. The three of them are jumping on him. I am rolling a lot of ones. That shit sucks. The third one also jumping. Oh, they get uh, gang up bonuses though. I forgot about that. So he gets plus two to the roll. Oh, do that now. They were going easy on us. They were. I should do that against you, uh, Alan. It's all good. But the rubber sword strikes true against Beef. He Beef takes no damage. Is literally rubber sword away, like bounce said. off of you. Can we, um, I don't know if, I know this might be against your policy, but I feel like in this game, it would be really cool if we could see the GM in roles for attacks and stuff like that. To see the actual values, you know. I do that to see right if we should Fine. go nuts or not. I don't mind if you see uh, rubber spoils right now. I can worry about it. All right, same thing. They're dripping on berry beef. Damn, he's just being overwhelmed. I, I remember that scene from Batman where, like, he gets. Uh, Man, I've blown so many ones. That just sucks. From the, from the video, from the video game where you're fighting like a bunch of enemies and they're all like start ganging up on you, so you mash parry and then at the very end, you like counter all of them and and climb out from under the mountain of like villains that throw themselves at you. Nothing. The last rubber minion also goes after Berry Beef. They're all dropping. We got six minions piling on Berry Beef. I'm just like, they're hanging off of me. And I'm like, just... I'm like fucking King Kong, just like mashing off Man, tires off of me. Suck. Good grief. Good grief. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, I, I missed as well. He's literally Neo. Like, all the agents are ganging up on him. Yeah. Mia! Oh, the head is not doing any damage. I'm on bad. Yeah. I'm on bad rolls. Two, four, one, three, four, yeah, one. That's yeah, hor- horrifying. So, so hurt. What's up? Remember how we talked about if I become intangible now, he takes uh, wounds. So right? will you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can always, you know. 
She wants to become a, a an abomination. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna turn off my intangibility inside the wheel man. And <laughs> it says here a hand causes one wound to each, an arm causes two wounds, both arms cause three wounds, and the whole body causes four wounds. So th is this does this apply to the body and the arms and everything, or is it just the whole body? Whole body. So you do all four wounds. Okay, so I'll do four wounds to him so and myself. You want to incapacitate yourself, is what you're saying. I, I can reduce that if I get lucky. I don't have any bennies anymore. Oh, shit. But I'm going to roll a spirit roll to prevent four wounds. See what I see how I do. Ooh. Nope. I'll take three wounds, and I'm assuming the wheelman also takes four wounds. Take you a see, look. Like, Let's see. Because, like, we talked about uh, how I have to yeah. roll something as well for this to work. Me. <laughs> Me, I'm free! No! She sacrificed herself so we can defeat the rubber man. Is it the, the wheel, wheel man? Rubber? The wheel man. The wheel man. But it's called rubber Yep, so you take three wounds there, uh. Yeah, I. Nobody's left. Feels bad, man. And does, does he take four wounds? Hmm. I still want this to be an attack roll. He's not really standing still. Well, that would just that would just pretty much kill anyone. I would have to roll. Yeah, I think I'm going to make an attack roll, but make it a touch attack. So it would be a uh, fighting plus two. Fighting plus two. Okay. Yeah. Cause like I'm in, I'm inside him. So Cause if you can just like, cause four wounds on your walls, I think it's a little too powerful. So. I think I think I think I would base it off of like raises that she gets. Like, the more raises she gets, the more parts of bodies she can affect. That's lame. Well, I, I'm inside him because I I ended my turn inside him and he did. Yeah, but that stands still though. I mean, plus if he can just do four wounds without ever rolling, I mean, especially if you find someone that has like super speed, that doesn't make any sense to me. So we're still gonna make it a uh, fighting rolls. Yeah, but he didn't move from the spot. But yes, they if are. He... I mean. Same as D&D, dude. They're always moving around. They're not standing, they're not standing still like a chessboard. Well, uh, if he moved away, I wouldn't be able to do this. So I don't know how else am I supposed to make this work. Attack roll. You're literally going to try to... Uh, you're pretty much going to try to become tangible when you're inside him while you're all both moving around. Like I said, it's same like D&D. You're not just sitting still the entire time. Alright, so I'll drag, the, I'll drag this over the rubber, right? So as long as you hit him, um, you can do the four how many wounds you probably want. But with this one, you are probably going to miss, I think. Yeah, you just you just I... missed his parry. So, if that's the case, then the high risk, high low reward is very efficient here. Because I always take damage, it seems like, but he won't ever take damage unless I hit him? Well, you won't take damage no, you either. Don't... No, if you miss, you don't take damage. Yeah, so get ready for three wounds. Okay, so 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 does that mean I I am not able to manifest into the physical world then? I just no, you do. You no, just, no, you you just do. did you it do. Um, do. when you weren't connected to him. Take him as he dodged away at the last second. Okay, okay. Because literally, if you could do that with every one, no one ever pick any attack powers. So you just do this automatically, and it makes no sense if you're fighting someone like the Flash. So I think it still counts. You have to do an attack roll. Um, I think it makes sense given that. Uh, well, when we when we when we succeed an attack roll, we still have to roll damage and then roll against their toughness. So you ignore toughness at the cost of you dealing yourself wounds. And that's why this does automatic wounds. Doesn't do any uh, de like damage. It just does wounds automatically. So. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll look at adjust it to bounce out to be how it, to make it because uh, it doesn't has it has benefits and drawbacks. So we'll bounce it around to make it uh, good. I'll put it that way. I mean, I'm only useful against like living opponents anyway. Cause my, my, my I would opponent. give her okay. So based based on how this works, you can't really parry someone who's intangible. So it make so so basically everybody's trying just to dodge her. So yeah. make a dodge roll. It would that actually would make would, five more it, sense. It would because, it would because um in my mind, the whole, my cold combo only works on living. I up think I use, we'll make we'll make it uh, opposed agility rolls. Yes, that thing. I think that makes much more sense. Yeah. Because then, because then you have like bigger, like slower, 
targets are going to be easier to hit than because obviously they're slower and bigger. Yeah. And then the small ones will have an easier time dodging away. We'll do this. To make it sense to people that are fast, we'll do agility rolls plus your speed. Oh, I like that. Like, plus my running, you mean? Yeah. I like that. Yeah, so do, so yeah, do you, so yeah, we'll do um, agility plus your actual running uh, skill. That, that might my... be a little overpowered given her pace. My running dice or the pace? Mm. I mean, my no agility... one cares if something is overpowered. This is super, man. Just, We're here to just, have fun. Just make her roll pace. I mean, Jason here does three, 30 damage per attack, and I'm just trying hey, here to be Hey, 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 I, no, this is a way to balance it. Agility and pace die against the enemy agility and pace die. You know what? We'll talk about this later on. Right now, just make it easy. We'll just go plus agility. We'll talk about it later. All right, rubber rolls. He rolled his five. So I rolled mine, right? Rolled yeah, my straight agility, yeah. I guess we both would get hit, <laughs> right? Ties? Yeah, we'll call, we'll call Ties as a hit. So, me and him take four wounds? Um, here, here's another idea. Limit the amount of body parts that she, she can affect at the same time by the gap between the rolls. So by how many more points she beats, that's how many wounds she can inflict. Up to four. Yeah. Yeah, we, we can go with that. I think that's a good balance. Uh, with ties, we'll go with uh, one moon to both of us. One, go with Shaken. Okay. I mean, with zero, with ties, go with Shaken then. So they're both Shaken, but they don't they don't take any wounds. Yeah, I like that rule. We can go with that. All right. All right, and now we'll go to Rubber, who is now going to unshake. Possibly, he does. Okay, and with that, now that you're going to be visible right next to him, he is going after Mia. No. With his Rubber yeah, yeah. Ninafu. But first, we're loading up that Mia. His shurikens going after Mia. You know what? No, no. Shurikens after Jason Mike, and he's going to punch Mia. Wow. I'm still gonna deflect them. Oh Jesus Christ! Maybe not. Maybe maybe not. Uh, maybe not. Um, <clears throat> it's still gonna be a raise no matter what. So, at oh, this point, Jesus you can't affect Christ. it. Yeah. Uh, okay, I, it's just like Deadpool. Then I just it, fucking swing wildly, trying to deflect, and it just passes. Ah, you still... lucky bastard! Man, my freaking oh, damage rolls are ridiculous. All right, <laughs> so the shurikens. <laughs> I mean, they're rubber shurikens, they just bounce off of um, Jason Mike pretty much. They leave some some small belts, but then he's doing his rubber ninja foo against Mia. Let's see. Mia my... is not being um, surrounded, though, so it's be a straight roll. Can I use my vigor roll to reduce the wounds? Um, you can do the... It's not vigor, I think it's uh, spirit. Or your linked right. attribute to, uh, to do your reaction. Yeah, it's a vigor roll, it says here. Okay. All right, uh, let me do the damage first. Oof. All right. So oh. just just roll, just do a soak roll. You get a free soak roll pretty much then. All right. Well. Oof. Uh, I think uh, that's, dead. that's be a four gun. No. Oh yeah, because she's not the wild card. So yeah, she disappears. Yeah, no! She vanishes. <laughs> Damn so, you, wheel man. So quick retrospect. Uh, if the clone originator is in the battle uh i think you need to make it more difficult for him to hit uh, to deal damage because he basically has an infinite supply of clones that can just suicide themselves on the enemy for guaranteed damage well the clones are technically not wild cards so i actually should make it that i think i have to check again i can't remember if they are or not so wait how many how many wounds can a wild card take three I need to make sure. Well, anyway, I'll look at it right now. Jason, I might go ahead and take your turn. I'm gonna look at Mia stuff real quick. But but clones, if they take one wound, they die. So are, are clones just shaking. minions? 
I, well, I guess, because if they take one wound, they're dead. Let me see, I want to take a look real quick. Like, all this what? time, every time, at least they took one wound, they just disappeared. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so you got extra. Don't take wild cards, well, so... In, well, in, the, in that case, you could only deal one damage with your clone. Oh, no, they deal damage. They just take one wound, and then they poof. No, no, I mean, like, you, you, they could deal one wound of damage, because they can only equal how much they can take. Well, I guess I'm underpowered in combat. No, it's a guaranteed wound. Yeah. And well, it's well, a pretty well, easy roll. Especially against tougher opponents that are, like, bigger and slower. Mm. And have bad agility. It's extremely... Like, if, if, if Rio Mia was here and you weren't just a clone, you could just spawn another Mia. And if this guy was huge and had, like, agility of four, you could just, like, dominate him every single time. Yeah, but she isn't here. Well, you know, maybe she's got to start getting off her ass. Yeah, I already talked to them about this because of this exact situation, so. Jason, Mike, it is your turn. How do I unshake it? I'm, I'm new to the game. Hold down a left control. You see the shake button highlight in the comment tracker and go ahead and click on the button. There we go. Looks like you did good. You are not shaking no more. Take your turn. <laughs> So you guys being surrounded by these urban minions are actually contributing to them hitting it easier. So. Barry! You have bases with the rubber man. I'll take care of the minions. As I teleport behind the rub nearest rubber minion and strike it. How the fuck did you hit with a Poof! Sliced in two. Uh, this bite out again. I can't see the other ones. Yeah, you just hit the, uh... the plus one. Click the plus one to scroll it over. And poof. And that's enough because I deflected last turn. Okay. This one is no. going after Berry Beef. I believe that ones are also targeting Berry Beef, so. Still gets plus three. Rubber sword against berry beef. Oh, oh. Wow. We finally got a hit. He raised. And they amazing. smack berry beef across the forehead with the rubber sword. Yeah. Oh, first, we forgot stunned. about something. What's up? Remember that, remember that card I played? I should have. I should have had plus oh, two. Oh, plus two. Had... Yeah. Yeah. Forgot about that. Let's see if I can put that in a so... comp tracker right now. So we both rolled five, so I should have done seven, and he would have five. Two well, wounds. Then you would have, you would have de dealt one wound to him then. Yeah, he would have one wound. Because right, and then you die, and then you die by spawning yourself in him. <laughs> yeah. Also, Meeting. fun fact. Also, fun fact. Everything that this Mia knew will be gone because the original Mia doesn't trust Oh the no. Mia. <laughs> I don't have power. That's probably for the best. Probably. She does not remember all the animal bullshit. She won't believe it, dude. She has no idea who this new like, guy is. Well, so last, last, okay, yesterday in school, everybody started acting like animals. <laughs> now, how do I unshake? Hold on left control yep. and click on the button that highlights in the combat tracker. It's not the... Did that do that? I remain shaken. Yeah, so he failed. I think I think we may have I think we may have uh Yeah, I think this is my bottleneck right here. You have met your match. Pass the turn. Can't unshake. It's nope. my problem. Alright, Rubber Minions. Then our turn of attention back to Jason Mike. First one pile. Ah, son of a gun. First one piles on to Jason Mike. He gets no bonus. He misses. The second one jumps to Jason Mike. Now it gets a plus one bonus for the minions. And ooh, maybe, maybe. Nope, still misses. The third one turns his attention there's towards there's a, Jason Mike. There's a hit right there. Oh. Oh, sorry, it's against you. Not targeting you. Only Jason Mike. And then okay. he gets plus two. Jason Mike just dodges all of them. Yeah. And now. 
vengeance will be mine. Mia! Mia! As I strike towards the lone rubber minion. Ha! Holy shit. Poof. And I somersault and strike the other ones that are striking me. How's that even work? I don't even know. I'm just gonna do it. But I'm not done yet. Oh my god, could you stop exploding us, please? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> They're all getting taken out. And that's that. Well, there's more. There's one last yeah. one. It's Rubber and the Rubber Minion. Two left in this battle. Attacks, wills, and crazy shenanigans. The last Rubber Minion goes after Jason Mike in a crazy one possible draw, and he misses. Mm -hmm. All right. Rubber, vanquishing Mia turns his attention towards... There are still those Rubber... You know, there's still those razors that uh, we brought. Also, there's probably cars outside with more wheels. That's absolutely true. Shurikens hit Berry Beef. Oh no. It and he bounce off him. <laughs> but then his rubber ninja foo goes after Berry Beef also, and he is going to use a Benny to do that again. <laughs> Fucking 3 minus 1. I'm going to use oh. a Benny to do it again. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he hit. He hit. Oh, I've been wounded as well. Mia, Mia. All right, Mia. I want to recap what happened. So we're gonna say you're actually here because, like I said, we talked to you about this. So. So do I just like appear like? No, we're gonna say that this is actually you. We'll say you're behind your minion. So like I said, if your minion can take, was... especially being an extra, one moon she's out, and you've been out, you'd be out of most fights because of this. So, it's so she much you're stalking. around. Yeah. She, she was stalking us this entire time. While intangible. So she just burst through the door? Pretty much. <laughs> Mia, you're back! I'm here. Oh, uh, this is Mia. It's me. And I'll spawn a cheerful Mia clone. How, ah, long is a, five. how long is it? How long is a round in this game, by the way? Six seconds. Same as D&D. &D. Okay. Do I just put the clone underneath me? The yep. allies? Mm-hmm. I'll do. Oh, I'm, actually, I'm about to do it. Uh, <laughs> are you doing the cheerful one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, I'll, I'll hide behind her. Okay. And... And uh, I put the cheerful clone on hold. Attack booster, 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 booster. Oh, I should have made that superhero. That would be right, so, so ridiculous. All right, pass the turn there, Mia. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, she's at home. Very beef. It's on you. It's me, Unshake. Attempt at least. Oh, well, yes. you did it. All right, you're good to go. All right, now, um, I'd like to avenge me a three by attacking the rubber wheelman. That's the minion, not the uh, right. rubber. Oh. Oh, there's a minion? Oh, I'm sorry. Where's the... this guy? We'll get you one free reroll. Against rubber. The rubber. No, that that's not, it's not what I should have done. This is what I should do. Well, I still miss. Yeah. Some... Why am I minus... Oh, I've wounded myself. Yeah, oh, I see. you're wounded. You're so strong, you don't even notice it. 
All right, mm -hmm. next round, pass the turn, Barry Beef, and it goes to Mia. I'll make the original Mia make another clone. All right, which the one? Adventure, the adventurous one. I don't think right. I can make two clones of the same type. No, no. I'm Mia, Mia, Mia four and Mia five. This is <laughs> attack boast. All right. Boast. <laughs> attack boast. And uh, I'll make the cheerful Mia turn intangible and run towards the real man. No, do it. You have to do it on her turn. So pass the turn if you're done with the main Mia. All right. All right. We did. All right. I'm gonna make a spirit roll to turn intangible. I recall. Yes. Spirit roll. Oh, Mass Effect map music. Let's no, go. she fails. Sorry, Mia clone. She makes she makes an adorable like you know like strained face and she's like no hey, no no. no. You, you know how like sometimes lights like flicker out. She's like trying to flicker into the ghost mode. Well, she flickers out and comes back. And there's yeah. like a little smoke coming out, like something overheated. <laughs> yeah, and, and she she stands still. Oof. And because the adventurous clone just spawned in, she's also gonna stand, hold. She's gonna hold. All right. She, you are actually suicide bomber. Oh my god. <laughs> Rubber attacks. <laughs> Shurikens at Mia. Which oh, one? Fuck. The main one. How can they tell? Because doesn't he's matter. rubber. It doesn't matter because <laughs> everybody rolls like trash all the time. Possibly. Everyone like trash, it kind of sucks. But then he ninja foods against Barry Beef again. His nemesis. His enemy, his mortal. We're using Betty to do it again. Oh my god. Son That's of a bitch. Spread out of Betty. Wait, are you giving us bennies every time you use bennies? No, I'm out. I have one more Benny before I start giving you guys bennies. You get three, get three basic I, stuff because he's a wild card. And I strike at the last rubber minion. It looks like. Uh, and I miss. We have the tank. We have we have unnecessary, and then we have DPS. I miss, and I <clears throat> cough, and I strike again. A hit. Yeah. And there goes the last rubber minion. <laughs> Rubber is by himself. I put down my weapon and I say, Barry Beef, it's all up to you. The villain oh. must be stopped. Ooh, you're I believe lot of in you. Trust in me here, but. I, I, before Barry goes, I want to turn adventure, the adventurous clone intangible. Alright. Damn it! <laughs> it's just, 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 so just stand there flickering, nothing's happening. Since, since the master is here, the clones are getting performance anxiety. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, there. could you not look at me so much? Uh, uh, you can go. She's she just embarrassed by the flickering. Alright. I, uh... I, 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 I give a nod to, uh... Mike, and uh, I, t I, I tell Mia, stay out of this. This is between me and Wheelman. Which and one? Hundreds, all of you, and the hundreds of hot dogs that he has desecrated. And I miss. Wow, what an anticlimactic ending. Hey, this is just gonna be us like glancing blows of each other. Constantly. Oh, you can do taunts. Taunts will lower his parry. Oh, do they do? Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh-huh. <laughs> you can talk to the parrot, you can intimidate to, um, or you can do a trick to get plus two to your uh, next roll. How do you trick? Um, you do, I believe, you tell me what you're going to do, and then it's going to be based off of either agility or uh, smarts. Oh, I see. So uh... what had happened is if someone's, bef since, you're, since you're fighting with between you and rubber, you can have, like, Jason and Mike literally taunt rubber to give you plus two to hit rubber, or to reduce his, Wait. um... Perry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had an I had a spear uh, action. Can I do that? Um, Retroactively? Or should I do that next turn? Actually, it's go for it because if you do it successfully, you can actually uh, very well actually hit him if you do it successfully. So. All right. So what should I do? Taunt him or? Trick him? Uh, tell me which one do. Will it Perry or give him plus two? So you can either do either one. So you can do a trick or you can do like a taunt. 
It has to be within the rules of honor, so you can't do, like, f- fucking fake swing at him. Alright. Rules of honor. I'm just gonna taunt him, then. Okay. Give me a taunt roll. It's opposed by spirit. What's a taunt roll? What, 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 is that a thing? It's a skill. <laughs> it's a skill. <laughs> No, unless I roll like Nigga somehow. If I even roll a one, let's see. Uh, I roll his spirit. Yeah. Call him a poop head. <laughs> Didn't happen. All right. Pass the turn, Berry Beef. The duel is still on. You get to taunt him again. <laughs> I call him a bigger poop head. Oh. Oh, he fell out. one. It. Oh! oh! All right. Getting demoralized. But I'm not done yet. <laughs> Call him a poop well, head. You can't. You can't. Uh, you can't stack uh, it. So yeah. <laughs> so if I taunt him now, it doesn't matter. No, but he has the penalty. Or but so you taunt him, then you can do a trick to get plus two to hit him. So, you, but that's fighting dirty, like you said. So. Yeah. But with no, that. I mean, roll- it's me. It's it's a one v one, so like they can't engage. But... Yeah, he doesn't know that though. So he may taunt it. He goes after Jason Mike. With oh, okay. rubber shurikens, <laughs> and that misses obviously. As well as his rubber ninja foo, which does miss. This is the most anticlimactic fight. I'm going to. <laughs> if I if I taunt him, I can't attack, or do I just get multi action penalties? Uh, you get mental act, you get multi action penalties, but you can't taunt him already because he's already taunted. So. Oh, yeah, but I can taunt him back so he attacks me instead. If he wants. Also, to. intimidation. What does intimidation do? It's it, well, just what it is. It's taunting. So. Okay. Never mind. Well, I'll just, I'll just shout again that your quarrel is with me, you fool. Uh, and uh, try to attack him again. Maybe this time now. Actually, yes, I definitely will. With a raise, nice. With a, with a nice little, neat little raise. Uh, and uh, let's see if I can finally destroy him. No, I shook him, though. You wow, did. a four on a d20. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ray Beef, pass the turn. Cast me to do something. She, she, she shouldn't do anything. Um. Yeah, I'm not taunting too. Well, if she'll attack, he'll attack me. He's already taunted. The taunt roll is not going to choose to attack. It's just to lower his uh, defense. All it does. Okay, I just did it just for fluff. So you just say you're taunting them if you want to. Nah, I'll just I'll hold the original. Cheerful's gonna roll spirit. Thank gods. Uh, so this is an action. Wait, though. hold on. If you turn intangible, can you make clones? Yeah. I'd say no. If she's intangible, oh. she can't make clones. Yeah, but there's a clone that's intangible. Yeah. So, yeah, that's fine. So, since uh, this is an action. I can't move, right? As a as a no, you reaction, can. I can't. You can okay, move. you can move. So, I want to use. I want to do this to be like a party trick. I want to. The idea is, I'm gonna also make the adventurous one uh, intangible, and I want two of them to like run like not like Naruto, inside and out of the rubber to like confuse him. So I, I want this to be like a party trick. Maybe he like gets agitated. And okay, well that is an action thing. though, so that actually would have gave you much too, but still fine. So. So, so I want her to. So should I run uh, running, on cheerful as she's doing that? Uh, no, just do a. Um, it's a trick, so you're just gonna distract them. So go ahead and do a. I, I have a mastery in the application for the party tricks, so I, I ignore any penalties. Or they gain. Or they they gain no. Give resistance. me give me the agility about minus two. Minus two. Yeah. But I have mastery in it. What's... I have the master. I have mastery in duplications and edge, and I don't take penalties. 
when using power tricks of this power. No, it's because you do two actions, that's why. No, oh, okay. Because you first turn intangible, then you attack him by running through him. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Well, I ah. guess you just. I mean, one second, I'll be right back. I got a phone call. She runs right through me and confuses me. Ghosts clone. Man, I love that our tank can't hit shit, and it's an honorable duel, so I can't intervene. Hey, it's alright. You know, I've got a winning hand. The longer this goes on, in six turns, I get to pop a natural heal and get rid of my wound. No way, <laughs> dude. Read your card again. What? Read your card. Don't, I can't see it anymore because I don't have You it. cannot heal wounds that your rib villain causes. No, I cannot uh, soak them with bennies. Ah, oh, okay. Never mind, then. Continue, can... as normal. If I can't heal wounds that my villain calls, that I die. <laughs> oh yeah, you. Run, yeah, this this is your kryptonite. He's the only person that can kill you because you can't heal his wounds. So who's side for E three this year? Nobody. No, not really. No oh, one's side for the cringe this year. What are, gonna, what are they gonna show? This is gonna be. Follow? This is gonna be worse than twenty thirteen. Oh god. <laughs> what year was it when Konami? Was that 2013? I don't know. Hello. Well, let's play this okay. again. <laughs> oh, I, hear, I heard those dice roll. <laughs> What's going on in here? Play this. How do I have 200 stars? What the hell? I don't like that. What the... I, can, I can evade this if I roll a 6. Yeet. Yeet. Didn't evade, <laughs> and she just fucking died. <laughs> Why is there like a return symbol? Because you're going back. I think you uh, we skip. Yeah, do you? Oh, you know what? Uh, thanks for the norma, I guess. Thanks. Could you know? Let's know. No. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking retard. Oh no. It's okay. Oh my god. That's still level 2. This is. I'm level 3 now, actually. Can I walk in a circle here? Alright, I'm back. We gotta wrap this up really quick, though, so. Okay. Oh, this is great so... that uh, no damage versus no damage over here. Yeah, so I'm either wrap it up really quick or I'm going to, so. Alright, so, so she fails. She's also got to turn. Let's let's just mash through this. Let's just speed. Yeah, this let's through. just mash through this. You right. you two skip your. T uh, hold on. Let's let's make this easy. Let's just you roll, I roll. You mm -hmm. roll, I roll. All right. So they both fail, but they're both intangible. That's okay. Okay. You, n nobody interrupt anymore. And uh, uh, I skip my turn. So yeah, just roll. Okay. Just roll the contract here. Get some. Uh... Don't don't even don't even go by the turn order. There's just the two of us. That uh, just attacked myself. Sorry. <laughs> um, you would have hit him though, I so did. go roll damage against him. Okay. Um, it actually would have been a boost too, so go ahead and uh, do the boost. This is like a d6? Oh, you click on the damage dice on the bottom of the screen. What? Let's click oh, on the plus oh, damage dice at the bottom of the screen. Plus damage against Rubber Boy. Oh. Oh. Alright, oh that'll do it. God. One punch! You do one quick <laughs> punch against him, uh, Barry Beef, as he flies through the air. Actually, because you do 21 damage, he actually Out gets thrown it. back uh, 2d6 inches. So go ahead and roll 2d6 real quick. 2d6. Yeah, whatever you do. I realize that once you do more than 20 damage, they actually uh, fly back. Well. Yeah, I know that. That's I didn't bring the book. Back I've done. So he flew back 7. 14 yards he flew back. Out of the store into the yeah. So he flies back through into the air and then literally pops like a balloon. This is for all the hot dogs. 
But you see that his sprinkling of balloon parts, or balloon tire parts, swirl in the air and then fly off into the distance. He's defeated, but not vanquished. Aha! Good job, Barry. We defeated the wheel man. Now this town is at safe and all but the tires... What, but at what cost? I Me and three. Me and oh. three. What are you talking about? We're still here. Yeah, I'm still here. Well, this is this is me and me. Okay, four but and me I do five. gotta bounce out now. So, with that, we'll end the stream and.